Genshin Impact officials have confirmed that Alhatham will be debuting in the upcoming patch 3.4 update. Fans who are saving Primo gems to spend on Alhatham's debut banner will want to know what materials they'll need to farm for him. Fortunately, the latest 3.4 beta leaks have revealed Alhatham's ascension and talent level up materials. Excluding the boss materials required for his ascension, the remaining materials are currently available in-game, allowing players to pre-farm materials for the upcoming Dendro 5 star unit. Make sure to leave a like and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. This will motivate me to make more videos like this. Following his appearance in the first Sumeru Archon quest in Genshin Impact, Alhatham swiftly created a large fanbase for himself. With the confirmation of his debut in the upcoming patch 3.4 update, players will finally be able to spend their hard-earned Primo gems to obtain the character. Recent beta leaks have revealed his ascension and talent level up materials. Most of the materials are available to farm in the current version, excluding the new boss materials that's required for his ascension. Starting off with his talent books, Alhatham will require Ingenuity talent books from the Steeple of Ignorance domain. Based on the 3.4 beta leaks, players will have to obtain 9 teachings of Ingenuity, 63 guides to Ingenuity and 114 philosophies of Ingenuity. Alhatham will need a large number of common drops from Eremites to increase his talent levels. Eremites can be easily found in Sumeru's rainforest and desert regions. Players will need 18 faded red satins. 63 trimmed red silks and 114 rich red brocades to max out Alhatham's talent levels in Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact players will need 18 Mirror of Mushins from the Weekly Trounce domain to max out Alhatham's talent levels. Keep in mind that you will have to complete the Where the Boat of Consciousness Lies quest to access the new Weekly Boss Trounce domain. Additionally, players will also need 3 Crown of Insight to max out all of the character's talent levels. Based on 3.4 beta leaks, Players will need all of these materials for Alhatham's ascension. 1 Nagatus Emerald Sliver, 9 Nagatus Emerald Fragments, 9 Nagatus Emerald Chunks, 6 Nagatus Emerald Gemstones, 168 Sand Grease Pupa, 46 Pseudo Stamens, 18 Faded Red Satins, 30 Trimmed Red Silks, 36 Rich Red Brocades and 420,000 Mora. Pseudo Stamens, one of the required ascension materials, can be farmed from a new boss who's yet to debut in Genshin Impact. Additionally, Sand Grease Pupa is a new local specialty that cannot be farmed presently. Players will have to wait for the arrival of the patch 3.4 update to obtain this new local specialty. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like, and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. This will motivate me to make more videos like this.